when the tournament started, what was your what was your take on it? Did you have favorites? Uh, I, I I thought there was ten to twelve. I actually said fifteen, sixteen. I thought I had a chance to win it. I thought Gonzaga and Arizona were slight favorites, but I don't think there's a great team, a great team, right. because I think when you're dealing with eighteen year olds, anything can happen, and the smaller schools. Can they make enough threes, and do they have enough size? Not normally, but in a one-game scenario, they do. The three-point right. shot is different between a major college and, quote-unquote, a mid-major. Like, St. Peter's is not going to beat Kentucky in a seven-game series. But in a one-and-done scenario, anything can happen. Anything. You're so, right. yes, yeah, so I thought there was 10 to 12 teams that had a legit shot of winning it. I'm not going to be surprised if anybody wins it, to be honest with you. Uh, Because let me tell you something. Gonzaga and Arizona, man, you talk about having all they can handle. Even your guys. I mean, first of all, that's that's the best game I think I've seen Coach Izzo team play all year. I watched them probably 10 times. I'd never seen them play – with that time, I mean, clearly they probably were freed up a little bit because they weren't expected to win, but they played great. But I'm telling tell you something. What Gonzaga did, what Arizona did, and what your team did, when you are a heavy favorite and you get punched in the mouth, that to me, because, like, listen, uh, I hate to say that my Auburn Tigers, we got punched in the mouth and we went down for the count. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, and I tell people, I say you never know how your team is going to react. You just never know. But the three most impressive things I saw was Gonzaga against Memphis, you guys against Michigan State, and Arizona last night against TCU. Those were those were the three best games of the weekend. <laughs> 